What is up YouTube? Bunny Films here with a brand new video and behind me I have every single tractor that you can buy from the store in Farming and Friends. I think we have a few fans with us, hello to them, but behind us we are going to be reviewing every one of these tractors. And the reason I say that we're only reviewing the ones from the store is because there's a few that I can't, uh, can't necessarily get my hands on, such as like the Santa tractor, I think there's even a sleigh one, and then there's like the rainbow tractor too. <laughs> you can't really buy those and there's also this one right here uh let me show you really quickly there's this tractor right here uh it's 900 robux i think that used to be like a thousand or something i don't know but there's this tractor here which will cost 900 robux it comes with a few other starter equipment pieces as well but we're not going to be reviewing that because we're only reviewing the equipment sold at that store right there the vehicle store so that makes my life a little easier, but that still does include some tractors that do cost Robux, such as the Rusty Tractor here, and some of the best tractors in the game, such as this one. Well, actually, that's not the best one, but you got the level 5 ones right here, which are the best. So we're going to be reviewing every single one, and maybe it'll help you figure out what next tractor you want to buy for your farm. But of course, we are going to be starting with the worst tractor in the game. I'm sure no one really cares about this tractor, but it is a tractor, so it will be included in the video. This is the level one ZM80 tractor. It's the starter tractor you get when you first start playing in Farming and Friends. You can buy one for $1,500 or coins. Actually, that's the currency in this game. 1,500 coins, or you get it for free when you start a new farm. In terms of speed, it is... A decent speed it doesn't really go too fast or too slow but it is a little bit slower compared to some of the other tractors and the reason you want to upgrade your tractor in farming and friends to some of the higher level tractors is that that will allow you to use some higher level equipment so for example a level 2 tractor cannot use a level 4 plow you have to have a level 4 tractor to use a level 4 plow and uh yeah so that's why you should upgrade your tractor. But anyways, that's all of level one. We're moving on to level two now, which includes three tractors, including this Robux tractor here. So starting off with the H488 tractor, you can buy this for 4,500 coins and it has a slightly faster speed than the tractor we just tested out. I mean, it's not too crazy fast, but it, it's a decent speed. The interior is a bit lackluster as well because I think this is one of the older tractors in the game. It doesn't really have a built out interior. And because it is level two, it will let you pull any level two equipment such as trailers, plows, cultivators, cedars, you know it. Moving on to the next level two tractor, you have the IMT650 and you can buy this for 5,500 coins. So it's a little bit more expensive, but it has the same capabilities and a slightly higher speed. So this is one of my more favorite tractors. It's like a little go-kart to me. Uh, I think it's slightly broken up at the front. I don't know why the wheels are like this, but it's a fun tractor to have and it will do the same things as the other two level two tractors can do. And the last level two tractor is this rusty tractor right here, which will cost you 120 Robux. And it doesn't, uh, I mean, it has a decent speed as well. Uh, it doesn't really have a steering wheel or anything. And I don't necessarily know why someone would buy this. I mean, I just bought this for the video, but it's rusty, it's level two, so it has the same abilities as the other tractor. The only difference is that it's the only rusty tractor that you can buy in the game. But I don't know why someone would want a rusty tractor, but unless you have like 120 free Robux, I suppose you could buy it. Also, the wheels aren't even touching the tractor. That's interesting. So it is nighttime now, but that's not going to stop us because the next level of tractors we have to cover is level three. And there's only two level three tractors in the game. There's one that costs Robux and there's this one right here. So starting off with the GD428, this tractor will cost you 35,000 coins and it has a slightly slower speed compared to the other tractors we have covered. Also, one thing I noticed is that... Um, <laughs> <laughs> literally right when I hopped in here is that you have this I don't, I don't know it's like a mud flap or whatever I don't know what it's called but it's not symmetrical on the other side that's interesting but this tractor here is a level three tractor of course it has two wheels on both sides on the back I suppose I don't know but it's it's a nicer looking tractor it doesn't have an interior of course but it is uh a cool looking tractor, I suppose. I mean, there's some other, it looks some, uh, similar to that level four tractor back there, which we'll talk about in just a second. We'll compare their design later, but this is a nice level three tractor if you want to get it. I mean, it's the only level three tractor you can actually get without spending Robux. 
This right here is your Robux tractor called the Fordson. You can buy this for 350 Robux and it is slow. Uh, in terms of speed, it's like a 28 out of 100. That's the scale they use in the store. And this is very slow, but this is supposed to be more of like an antique tractor. So you can just buy this for the aesthetics. Don't buy it for the function. Uh, if you want the better tractor, go with the one that costs coins in this game or just spend your Robux on the best tractor you can even afford. So overall, this does have a uh, really cool design. I like how, um, I don't know, I just like how it looks. You can see like all the pipes and whatnot. Um, but yeah, cool stuff. Now we are moving on to the level four tractors. Here we have the GD216. And like I was saying, it's sort of similar to this tractor right here. It's slightly smaller. Um, but it is more capable because it is level four. This will cost you 120,000 coins and it's slow. Look at it. It's slow. It's 27 out of 100. Uh, so yeah, it's not the best tractor, but there is a slightly better level four tractor you can buy if you have the extra money to spare. So a slight upgrade is the AP450. This is 150,000 coins, but it is a lot faster. As you can tell, it does have a nice pickup and a nice speed. It looks cool too. It comes as this default red color, uh, which I really, I think it's the, I think this is the default color. I don't know, but I really like this color. It has a slightly more built out interior. It does not have a steering wheel, but it does have a seat, which is nice. And the outside of the tractor does look really cool as well compared to some of the lower level trackers. It does have a nicer design and if that tractor isn't cool enough for you you can go ahead and upgrade to the er80t except it does cost you robux it's 350 robux if you want to go ahead and buy this i really like the design of this tractor um i mean it's the same price as this but it is a bit more better value because it is level four so it can pull level four equipment in terms of speed it has the highest speed of all the equipment we have reviewed it's a 41 out of 100 i don't know what those units are but it's a 41 out of 100 look at it wow and this is the first tractor i've noticed that has a steering wheel <laughs> i mean the interior doesn't matter for these vehicles but if you really want to i don't know if you want to be immersed in the game you might as well get one with the steering wheel and this one has one except it's, it costs a little bit of robux so those are all the level four tractors and we're moving on to the final level, which is level five. So starting off, there's only one level five tractor you can actually buy for coins. And it's this massive tractor in front of me, the Challenger MT-9. This will cost you a whopping six hundred thousand coins that's really expensive but it is the best tractor in the game that you can buy for coins so taking a look at it it has uh, i don't know what these terms are but it has this thing back here it has a lot of tires by the way it has like eight tires which is absolutely crazy uh it's the biggest tractor or one of the biggest tractors i think that one over there is actually even bigger but it is one of the biggest tractors in the game someone else even has it as well so if you have no robux don't worry you can still get this level five tractor but you can't really get any other level five tractors. Also for the interior, it does have this little panel right here along with the steering wheel and some pedals. So I like that. <laughs> it's a bit more immersive than the other tractors. As we slowly move on to like the newer, like the newer tractors, you're starting to get like these hints of like better design being incorporated into them. But anyways, we're standing on top of the, oh gosh, I don't know how to pronounce this. The class, the class, C-L-A-A-S. <laughs> Xeron 5000. This tractor will cost you um, 376 Robux and it is massive. Look at this. It towers over all of the other tractors. I mean, that's like exhaust pipe is slightly higher than this, but this is a massive tractor. The one thing I don't like about this is that the headlights are always broken. They were fixed for like a few months and then they broke. As you can see, only you only get like half a field of vision of headlight when it's dark. I don't know, but it's annoying that's not been fixed. It, it's it was broken for the longest time, got fixed. Now it's broken again, so maybe it'll get fixed eventually. In terms of the interior, it lacks pedals, but it does have a steering wheel. So if you want to play in the first person, you can easily drive around and be immersed. And the final tractor we have is the Fox Metal Tech X1. And this, in my opinion, is the best tractor in the game because it is compact and it is fast and it costs Robux, unfortunately. So you can buy this. Uh, it can be your own for 400 Robux. And what's great about it is that it's small. So it's 
it drives relatively faster than the larger tractors. It will also be able to fit into smaller spaces, such as trying to get equipment out of your garage. It's much easier than driving one of those massive, humongous tractors back there. And it still has the same capabilities as those tractors. So if you really had to spend Robux on a tractor, definitely go with this one right here. I use this on a daily basis. It's also one of the newer tractors in the game. The interior is also the best interior for any tractor you can buy. It has a nice steering wheel. I think I think those are pedals down there nice seat uh, panel up there and you even have like a little dashboard there as well so let me know in the comment section which tractor is your favorite I told you mine so tell me yours which one do you like and in the future, we might be seeing some updates to the designs of these tractors because as I showed you, some of them are a little outdated. They're relatively old and lack interiors, but we might be seeing some like, um, what are they? I don't know what the word is. Uh, they, they might have, they might get redesigned basically. So this video might be outdated eventually. Um, I anticipate that there also probably will be new tractors added to the store as well but I can't really change the video to reflect that. And like I mentioned earlier, there are other tractors in the game that I did not cover just because they are not sold in the vehicle store. There are several, there's like the sleigh, there's the one I showed you in the shop earlier, this one right here for 900 Robux, um, and like the rainbow tractor that the developers or testers have access to and whatnot. So I don't want anyone commenting in the comment section, Bunny, you forgot this tractor because I went to the vehicle store. I bought every tractor so that we could feature them in this video. So yeah, I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you did learn something new. If you have anything else you want me to review, uh, let me know in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel as well because I will be doing these sorts of videos for uh, different types of equipment in the game, such as seeders, cultivators, plows, harvesters eventually, all sorts of things. So stay tuned for those videos coming out soon. But other than that, have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.